A Tyro is a beginner. I am an expert by no means. But I do what I love. I am a rugged Tyro. Come with me as we learn and explore the great outdoors. This video is brought to you by Connected to the Land. Connected to the Land was created to bring Canadians together during a time of isolation. Connected to the Land has articles and videos on a variety of topics including gardening, recipes, DIYs, hunting, and ice fishing. Don't forget to check out Connected to the Land's podcast to hear how everyday Canadians are connecting to the land. Like I've stated in past videos, this year has been an incredibly tough year for ice fishing, at least for me. This video's story begins on Family Day 2021. So my last fish landed was at Pine Lake almost half a month ago. So I'm out here at Buck Lake with a buddy of mine, testing out my luck and seeing if I can catch something. Can I turn this camera on? Got my first, first fish of the day. Very, very difficult. They were being finicky all day. Like Hui just stated, they're finicky, but they're there. Well, Hui got his first fish. That was the only fish he caught that day. But ask any fisherman, it was still worth it. Unfortunately, I didn't have the same luck. So after eight hours on the ice, I decided to just call it. I'm learning. One day I'll pull a fish out of this lake. Still worth it. All right, let's try a different lake. What's up, guys? We're on our way out to Burn Stick Lake. Um, when I say we, I mean me and my family. So my wife is coming and my dog. Can't really see him. But our truck is packed, like right packed. My buddy Randy is the one actually introducing us to this lake. This is his first time fishing out here too. Seems like a good spot. Hey Rocky. Rocky! <laughs> so if you watch my channel, you know that last week I released a pregnancy reveal video. So that means during this fishing trip, my wife, Nash, was pregnant. So I spent basically most of my time, if not all my time, making sure that she was comfortable. I wanted no mishaps at all. I even made her wear cleats. We're on Burnt Stick Lake today. It's a little windy. Um. So last week I went fishing with a buddy of mine and I didn't have too much uh, luck. So this time I'm going to be trying out a few new tactics that I've learned. Basically I'm going to be dead sticking in one hole. And then I'm going to be jigging in another hole. It's what they call the one-two punch. And it is warm so I am in a t-shirt. That was the plan but I was more concerned about everyone's comfortability and safety. My buddy and his dad weren't seeing too much action and neither were Nash and I. And because I was worried about everyone's safety, I didn't want to just keep setting up and tearing down. So we stayed in one spot pretty much for the whole day. I'll tell you what though, we ate good this day and it was nice just being with good company. Plus we learned a new location. So still, Worth it. So the season's drawing to an end and I didn't want to be the guy that didn't go out. So I decided to go for a bit of a camping trip on Old Faithful. My Old Faithful Gull Lake. So I got a fridge set up here. Three holes drilled together. Kind of like a live well, but not a live well. Just so we're clear. Got my line set up. So yeah, I'm calling this home tonight. Just me in the open water, ice. Except this time, I was gonna try a different spot. 
I was going to try doing deeper water in Gull Lake. And before every trip, I do let people know where I am for safety reasons. And because of that, I do get visitors from time to time. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, Osmo Pocket. It's that picture I sent you. Hi, Eva. Hi. Well, kiss to all your fans that you're gonna make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they gotta earn it. <laughs> well, it's quiet. Even the fishing. It's why they call it fishing, right? Not catching. Old Faithful wasn't so faithful today. I guess to some people this is torture, but for me, I love it out here. It's serene. Worth it. You know what? Let's try one more lake. I'm sorry buddy. You gotta stay home for this one. I have gas, I have propane, I'm ready to go. So this is gonna be probably my season closer and hopefully my night of redemption. So basically I'm going to Edmonton, gonna meet up with a buddy and he's gonna lead the way to Cold Lake and show us where to go on the lake. So this is probably the farthest I've ever driven just to go fishing. I'm glad Hui, Hui is taking me because I wouldn't know where to start or where to go. So I often get asked, is it worth it to drive miles upon miles just to go to a location? Is it worth it if you don't catch fish? I don't know yet. I've never caught this type of fish before and I've never been here. So we finally arrived. I'm just gonna set up have dinner, and go to bed. Keep him pinned! Keep, keep him pinned! Oh. Yeah. This is heavy. Yeah, yeah just, you can just real steady. Okay. <laughs> I'll just, uh... Oh man, it's so dark in here. I'm sorry. There's oh, there we lights. go, there we go. Got light right there. I'll, I'll, I'll move that transducer for you, so you don't tangle with it. Okay. Yeah, just keep a uh, slow, steady reel. I was reeling up, and then... I honestly felt like I got snagged on something. I'll, uh, I'll handle that part. Okay. When you're at the leader. Oh. oh. No. no. Try again. Try again. Keep. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so that's what that feels like. You feel good, eh? I I'm seeing activity. So Hui explained to me that you have to hook set these guys hard. Go on. Check out how he hook sets. This is definitely going to take me some time to master. Got one! Oh, that's a good one. This was actually the day hey, after. Francis! Tape measure! There we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh Kyle and fish. I didn't even catch that fish, oh. but we were smiling hard. This is it. I'm still shaking from hooking up. I have to rest up. Big day ahead. Just keep it slow, slow and steady. Yeah, just like that. I had no other objective other than to listen to Hui and make sure I got this fish out of the water. Finally. <laughs> Sorry, man. I didn't hit you. No problem. It's a small guy. I wasn't even prepared for this. I was eating a sandwich. Best interruption ever. I was so giddy, like a kid in a candy store. Right. Small one or not, this was definitely my personal best. My new <laughs> PB. Just hooking onto a fish got me excited, but landing one, that really threw me over the top. I didn't even want to leave. I did have a few more failed hook sets, but unfortunately I didn't land anything. But it was also nice just being around guys that also haven't caught Lakers before. So ask me again 
if it's worth going through all the trouble of driving to a location that's far, far away, risking not catching any fish. Oh yeah, worth it. All right guys, so that was pretty much the end of our trip. Well, my trip at least for my final uh, ice fishing trip out. And I just wanna thank Kui from Kui Fishing. Check out his channel on YouTube awesome stuff you'll see anything uh, regarding fishing from kayak fishing to ice fishing to just uh, even learning how to fly fish so yeah check out who um, I just want to thank him for basically putting me on some fish and helping me break my three three trip uh, <laughs> skunk so yeah all power to him thanks bud thank you all right Tyros as a guy with foot problems and a love for the great outdoors, especially around winter time, I take what I put on my feet very seriously. Comfort is king, and at these temperatures, warmth is a huge factor for me. My friends at Kodiak sent me a pair of their men's Kodiak Ice Conqueror 6 inch Arctic Grip work boot. They asked me to give my opinion and say what comes natural. Here it is. They're super comfortable and they're waterproof. They're composite toes and they're CSA approved. I was a bit skeptical as they're rated for negative 30 and my feet get cold easily. But they're true fit boots, meaning they hug your feet and they're not tight. I feel like my feet can breathe in these boots and it keeps my feet warm. Kodiak builds a solid product. They feel like tanks and feel durable. The Comfort Zone footbed and Ortholite foam make it super easy and nice on the bottom of my feet. They're like really thick insoles. Kodiak also has this awesome feature called SOS Smell Out Science, which is odor control technology. My dogs need that because my feet stunk. The most impressive feature to me though is the Vibram Arctic Grip rubber outsole grips. So basically, in a lot of instances, I didn't even need to wear cleats on the ice. It was super grippy. So thank you Kodiak for sending me these and making such a great product. So be sure to check out KodiakBoots.ca to find this and other awesome boots on their website. Peace.